situation where they got on top psychologically and physically on top of this Irish side and the fact that the game was over at half time. Oh, slice kick from Michelak after he sees that loose pass high above his head. <laughs> That's what the French crowd thinks of it because it is an Irish chance once again. Your mind, your mind kind of goes back to last year and the win that Wales pull, pulled off after a, a dreadful first half, but I don't think that's going to happen here. But you can certainly see some of the complacency, some of the bad, some of the bad aspects of French rugby sometimes is when they do take their foot off the pedal in positions like this. Today has been the good and bad of French rugby. Very, very good at times and just a little bit lazy perhaps on other occasions. Well, can Ireland get the drive towards that? trial and yes Irish advantage and ever closer to the trial line is there another try for Ireland still playing Irish advantage they'll come back for the penalty has to go on the bin at this stage. There's a six or seven penalty in this half. Stringer takes it quickly and up to the line and over. <laughs> Doko Callahan with his hands on the ball and the ball on the ground and another Irish try. It has been a second half fight back. But it has been because Ireland has still continued to try and do what they were trying to do in the first half. They're, they are taking the ball to taking the game to France with ball in hand. But France has just lost the air defensively. They're not as sharp as they were in the first half. Love to be in the situation where we've written off Ireland too, um, too early. I wonder if there's still time. It would have to be a frantic finish, but it's amazing how France have produced some beautiful rugby, but some really sleepy defence and some... Not costly mistakes because they should still win the game as O'Gara knocks over the conversion to make it 24 points in the bag for Ireland.